Greetings and salutations and welcome to Piratical Painting. Now, Alex, George Jr., this is for you. Your dad said that you have, what are we, Saturday now? Dad, so by now, by 1pm Saturday, you should have uh, a lot of Warhammer 40k goodies. I've seen some of the pics and they're kind of cool. So, um, what I'm going to do is, your dad sort of said that you were sort of looking for some ideas on how to paint them and different ideas on colours and stuff like this. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a few videos um, on how I paint my figures. So, we've got a couple of choices and you can talk to your dad about which way you want to do this and he can just let me know. There's an easier way to do it, which is sort of the old GW sort of style. They've changed a little bit in, in more recent years. They had a very set style in the past um, that was designed to be more approachable to beginner painters and everything. It's fine for the tabletop, and if you're just interested in the army as it is, there's nothing wrong with doing sort of that sort of more, more simplistic style painting. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If you want them to stand out more, we can do a more complex style of painting, which is a bit harder, takes a bit longer, but really all it is is patience and just paying attention and all that sort of stuff. So you, you can talk with your dad and work out which way you want to do things, and I can then show you some videos, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do some tutorials on how I do stuff, and uh, then you can practice. I saw some of the stuff you got. Um, so I'll be doing a mixture of um, armor and metal. They won't all be on 40k figures. Uh, we do have a dude who's sending me some for this uh, experiment and tutorial, so that's cool. Uh, I'll be using them to be able to showcase the techniques, but uh, I'll also be using fantasy ones I have from Reaper Games and stuff like that, like these uh, pirates here, because Essentially, you've got um, Elder Guards, which are armoured. Necron Destroyer, I saw. Uh, there were some Chaos Space Marines. There was an Elder Jet Bike. Um, I think there was a couple of tanks. I think the only problem you have with the stuff that you got, and you got really nice stuff, is none of them really are all from the same faction. You've got a bit of everything, which is cool. But if you're trying to build the army to play, you know, you won't be able to mix and match like that. But you, you've got a bit of everything, which is actually kind of cool in a way. So, I'll do some armor stuff, because everything like the Elder Guards, the Necron, Destroyer, the Chaos Space Marines, they're all armor. Uh, your Kachigan dudes, they're uh, cloth. So, I'll be doing like on these pirates, they're cloth. The painting idea is the same, whether it's like a pirate or a um, Kachigan dude, it's the same sort of idea. Uh, you've got some Tyranids. And I do think there's Tyranids coming, so I can actually I can do some Tyranids up. Um, if you have a paint scheme, if you're doing your own, that's fine. You can do something completely different. If you are actually doing a paint scheme from the Codex, um, just get your dad to let me know what one, and I can do a search, and I can then show you how I paint that up in the colours you wanted sort of thing in my own way, and then you can take some of the ideas that I do, you can take all the ideas I do, you can take none of the ideas I do, it's totally up to you, okay, this is all for uh, just your benefit and trying to help you, you know, get a bit of a jump start on what you're doing. The attack of the granny. Hey! Sorry. So, um, yeah, just let me know if there's any particular colours you sort of want, I mean a lot of the ones on the box art that you have are black. Um, which, is, which is a little bit funny in a way. You got your Elder Guards are largely black, your Chaos uh, Marines were largely black, your Necrons were largely black. Um, but there's there's a lot of choices, right? And don't have people tell you that you have to do what's in the Codex because you don't. You can do any paint scheme you want, really. I mean, that's the thing. This is a, it's a it's a science fiction game. I mean, you can if you love uh, Blood Angels or what have you. There's nothing wrong with doing set ones from the Codex, but if you want to go out on your own and do a whole new faction and that, you can. But, you know, they're not going to tell you not to. So, yeah, just get your dad to let me know what, what direction you're sort of going in and what you want to do, and if there's any particular colour schemes you really like. And I'll try to tailor that to uh, 
you know what what you want to do. So happy uh, gaming and welcome to the hobby and kick some butt on the gaming table, dude.